Today on All Things 80s, unboxing the vintage TIE Fighter Pilot. Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now in my hand right here is a vintage Star Wars TIE Fighter Pilot figure. Now the reason I chose this figure is quite uh, unusual. Um, as a child growing up I had many various Star Wars figures but for some reason the plastic smell on this one was the best. The absolute best it was it was sweet it was aromatic I just loved sniffing this figure and uh, when I thought about doing this video which also happens to be done on my birthday which is why I'm drinking from a vintage 1980s pub glass I thought okay what figure from the Star Wars Kenner line brings back the most memories and it would be this one the TIE Fighter pilot and the funny thing about this figure is the card back is a 65 card back which would have been the last card back I ever saw because uh, by the time I had gone through this range I had I'd lost interest by the time they added to the 65. So I never knew there were more figures than this. You know, in my small mind back then, I assumed this was the entire collection, of course. That not, that's not the case. There were many more came out afterwards, but this card back is how I, I remember things, you know, back in 83. So the question is, how do I go about opening this? I'm, I'm a little bit torn on this one. Now the bubble on this is extremely yellow and the card back has two uh, price stickers. Now interestingly enough, the first sticker was charging 371 and the special price was 298, which is indeed in US dollars and uh, having grown up in the UK I remember these costing you know one pound fifty maybe I don't think there were any more than two pounds so I maybe have to go back and do some sort of conversion rates uh, back in the 80s but, uh, but these were definitely pocket money figures and uh, just holding it again it's just fantastic now this one is un unpunched uh, I think all the figures I bought back then were hung on pegs so they would have been punched but it's just such a it's such a wonderful feeling to hold one of these and to uh, to look at the backing here because th this was the best marketing ever because as a kid, knowing that, that there were other figures out there, I wanted all of them, and I didn't. I didn't quite manage that. Um, I'll need. To, I'll need to do another video soon, describing how I went about choosing the figures I bought. Because there were many figures I never had, and some pretty important figures that I kind of overlooked, purely because of you know aesthetic reasons but uh, you know as an adult you can look back and say good lord what were you thinking uh, because I you know I overlooked things like Obi-Wan Kenobi and uh, various Princess Leia's because no boy wanted to buy a girl figure which is understandable but anyway on to opening and uh, I'm thinking in this instance it's a decent card back it's it's slightly bold it has two price tags on it and uh the bubble is extremely yellow you know what this is going to be old school style and it's 
Oh yeah, completely old school. But the first thing I have to do is, does it smell good? Well, it does, but it's a fraction of what I remember. It has that new plastic smell, but it doesn't have the smell that mine had. Mine was like potent. It was like strong, but this isn't, this isn't bad. And the blaster is still sticky from the tape that was used, which is good. So anyway, the figure itself, now I remember this figure as being a particularly chunky figure and it still is. And the, you know, obviously with this being, you know, mint on card, all the limbs are extremely stiff. And this was a great figure. Um, you know, this one of course appeared in Star Wars, but didn't make its debut until the Empire Strikes Back uh, card backs. That's a letdown, actually. Hmm. Or maybe the ones that were made in the UK had a better smell. Who knows? But anyway, looking at the figure and holding it, uh, which hand does the gun go in? It's been a long, long time. Okay, left hand. Okay. This was this was a great figure because oh. It was similar to the Stormtrooper, but, you know, black just seems so much more evil. And I did have, now I was going to say I had the TIE Fighter, that's not true, I had Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. But I always used this figure in Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Um, yeah, wow. It's just, like... I can't convey on film just how good it feels to go through the whole opening of a, of a of a vintage Star Wars figure again because I did it so many times as a child and I never gave it a second thought you know back then it was just a case of well let me get into this toy as soon as possible whereas doing it now I'm doing it in such a way that I'm bringing back so many great memories and this, you know, this figure is fantastic. And the fact that it's mint on card, and that's something I'm trying to do because, you know, I've said it many times before in these videos that I foolishly sold my uh, collection many, many years ago. And that is something I'm trying to, you know, put right and, you know, start building a collection again. And... It could be done quite easily on the used market, very easily, but because I took such great care of my toys as a child, the figures I'm using now, I need to be as good as they were when I had them. So doing it this way is a good way of, you know, preserving things and bringing things back to how they were. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that because I absolutely enjoyed opening this. It was amazing. It was a good feeling actually, just to hold that card, pull that bubble off and get, get a new figure in the collection. Yeah, very happy. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video for all things 80s.